Would you like to come say hello to my camera for the vlog? Yeah, I've also got a mic on, so. Oh, what's good? <laughs> Why do you have to lean into it awkwardly? <laughs> I love that. You just got the annoying tiny dude. Sorry, this guys. Is, <laughs> this is Brando. He's a legend. I love Brando. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Montreal. Um, I'm here for the World Cup as I was last year in 2023. Um, it's crazy, last year was like my first competition back after my knee injury and the rehab process was something that I didn't rush but like tried really hard to get back um, as quickly as possible so I could get back to this event last year. Um, so it's <laughs> it's it's weird to be back here and actually diving like normally again and feeling you know competitive and feeling like I can be in the mix rather than just hoping for the best. I only arrived um, on Tuesday. It's Thursday today. I arrived on Tuesday evening. Had one day of training on Wednesday where I did like my individual list and I did my synchro list uh, in the morning and in the afternoon and now right, I just did one training session today um, and then I compete tomorrow so it's a very quick turnaround not much time to get used to the pool but it doesn't really matter the last couple of weeks were tough after um, Delha right I'm talking to my camera. I've got a microphone on so you can hear me. Proper, proper, proper plugger. <laughs> um, I can't remember what I was saying, that's distressing. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, just in case I was like, yeah, it didn't really matter like, about getting used to the pool. Like, I know how to do all my dives, just got to tweak the board a little bit, figure that out. Um, but that comes relatively quickly. Right now, what I'm doing is a plyo session, which is the point is just to try and like get my legs a little bit more fired up for for my competition, which is tomorrow, as I said. Um, something I've kind of like tweaked with and, and experimented with over the last few years around competition, like when best to do a fire session, how much to do, what kind of stuff to do, whether it's actually helpful or not. And like, most times it actually is. It definitely helps just like wake my legs up a little bit. Um, and even more in this situation where I've kind of just arrived, um, it's been a quick turnaround having this all just kind of like hopefully shock my legs into feeling energetic so by the time I'm doing the prelim um, I feel like I can push the board with confidence. And actually even more importantly it's good for my knee, it's good to like keep building the strength and the um, resistance to impact in, in the knee that was injured because um, yeah, obviously that's a bit behind and anything I can do at this point to keep it in check and on point is, is going to be good and beneficial so um, now when I'm at home normally I'll do like a fire session and then two weight sessions rather than just three weight sessions because I need that speed, need that power um, for the springboard so um, it's actually just trying to keep the routine as normal as possible weekly uh, even when I'm away at a competition because that feels useful and valuable. I don't know how many sets I've done. Let's go for you, let's see.
normally on this particular exercise I'd, I'd have like a hurdle in front that I'm trying to jump up and over so that's why I'm doing the big knee lift just imagining there's a hurdle there to the on to the next one. Three down. Oh. oh man, that is a really hard one. That one is really hard for me. Like at this point. To, to drive out from this angle on this leg like it feels hard on this leg as it is never mind the other leg which is still significantly weaker in so many ways that's tough feels so slow um but yes this it's such a, this is a really good venue like i don't love the pool the pool's okay it's a nice pool i'll um i'll show you i'll take you on a little tour um and also the dry land i'll take you on as well I love the pool, it's okay, it's nice, boards are alright, um, feels like a good training venue, not necessarily the best competition venue, um, but they have had some epic competitions here in the past, so it really is a good competition venue, um, but the best bit about it is this dry land space, there's so much, so much room, so much space for you to do everything with all the divers, um, some dry lands can get very, very cramped, but this one is very spacious. They've got lots of dry boards, a few trampolines, a big floor space. Um, so, yeah, and you can kind of just like do your own thing, do whatever. And not feel like you're getting in anyone's way, which is always good. That was better set on my right leg. Let's see if I can do the same on the left. Tough. Almost out of these, and I think I have like two more exercises to do. Let's see. I'm gonna have to substitute one exercise because I can't exactly throw a ball around here. I could actually, but I don't want to. Um, I'm supposed to overhead lead ball throws, but I'm gonna replace that with something else. And then one more that I'd normally do is some weights, but I'm probably going to do it weightless. I think that would be the best method. Then I can go get some lunch. Oh. Did you see both legs? What's the difference? Hi. So it's, it's much better, it's still down a little bit, it's crazy. 
and like I'll sit down and like they're just a different shape which is really weird I don't like it Sing it, Noah. Hell yeah. Oh. Damn, too heavy. Uh, I'm glad I can move like that because this morning my shoulder was hurting a little bit. Yesterday, before my first session, I came in early. I did like full like verbalization, stretch, everything, try and get everything on point, try and feel good, make sure I didn't like hurt myself. Um, so I did everything right. And then my first like somersault on the box, I like took off and my neck like kind of crunched again, which happened a few months ago. I was like, oh, that is not good. Um, but just turned into a bit of a tight neck, it was alright. Then I was feeling a bit through my shoulder this morning, but now it seems to be moving alright, which is good. There's always got to be a little bit of something that scares you at competition, There's always got to be something that almost goes wrong. Oh. Alright, last set. The neck of rest. Whew. Have a good one, bro. Alright, that'll do for my little player session.